If the back end of your Joomla site is broken because of an extension that you need to turn off, but you can't turn off because the back end of your Joomla site is broken, then your back end is caught between a rock and a hard place. And we all know how uncomfortable that can be. In this video, I'll show you the way to free your back end up. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for it. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 271 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building ma and maintaining Joomla sites. Also work on Joomla sites, build them, maintain them, migrate them to Joomla 4. So if you're looking to hire someone short term or long term, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com and let's talk. And thanks to Joseph, whose site had this problem, gave me permission to use it in this video. That's why I'm gonna be super careful in my transitions because I have to blur out some of the information that's personal to him. So without further ado, let's cut to the chase and turn our attention to the screen. All right, let me just show you what is going on here. Uh, if you're watching this video, maybe you already have this problem and have found it through a search. Uh, if we go to home dashboard and global configuration, this is broken. If we go to system, manage extensions, this is broken and we are stuck. Now, how do we find our way out of this? Well, first of all, we need to get a better error than this. And actually Joseph's site had a better error, but I turned off some things so I could show you how to turn them on. Now, if you want better errors in Joomla, just getting something like this, what you want to do is go to the global configuration area and turn on debug, set that to yes, and turn error reporting to maximum. But as we saw already, you can't do that on this site because it's broken. So what you're going to have to do is change those settings in the global configuration.php file on your web hosting account. Now, if you know the folder that your Joomla site is installed in, that's great. You're going to be able to do that. But if you don't know how to find or which one it is, you might still be able to figure it out by going to system in the back end if you still have access to this. Now, Joseph does have access to that. If you don't, you're just going to have to find the root folder and the configuration file. But to find that out using the system area, just go to system information. And then on the information that opens up underneath the configuration file tab here, the middle tab, scroll down and make note of two things. First of all, take a look and note the name of the database. We're going to need that in a little bit. But to turn on the debugging and error reporting, you can find the global configuration where it is by going to the log path. And basically, you're going to go to the location in your file space in your web hosting that precedes administrator forward slash logs on this line, and you will know where to look. All right, so let's first next go to the control panel for this web hosting account. Here we are, we're going to scroll down and look for something that's a file manager, and here it is. Now we know what folder that we're looking for because we just got that information, and so I'm going to click on the folder here on the left, and now I'm gonna scroll down until I see this file configuration PHP. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go edit. Now in here we're looking for two lines. First of all we're looking where it says debug. Sometimes the order is different in different uh, configuration.php files as well. So we're going to look for debug and there it is. If you've got a zero put a one. If you've got a false replace it with true. And then we're going to go down to error reporting and we're going to change none or whatever you have there to maximum. All right, then we save that file and then go back to the admin area of your site and go to one of the broken pages. Let's go to system, manage extensions, and look at that. Now we've got a much better error to go on. So as we look, the error is going to happen in one of the top lines, usually the top one. And look, it says right here, the first line Plugins, content, quick sell buttons. All right. Now, some people would fix this issue by just renaming a folder where that plugin is set. But what I'm going to show you how to do is to go into the database of the site and just disable that plugin. And then you can deal with things after without having to switch back file names in your file space. And to do that, 
course, because we can't turn this off, we're going to go into the database. That's why we noted what the database name was earlier on in this process. All right, so we're gonna go back to control panel, and now we're going to look for the database area, and here it is, and we're gonna look for something called PHP MyAdmin, which is a tool that allows you to look right inside a spreadsheet, or a spreadsheet, the database for your site. Now, look down here, we've got a lot of databases to choose from, but we already know the name from before, so we're going to just click on it in this left column, and we'll be presented with all of the tables here. Now, remembering that the plugin in this case that we're looking for is named Quick Cell Buttons, in PHP MyAdmin, we're going to click on the Search tab, and then we're going to search for Quick Cell Buttons. Make sure that everything, all tables are selected here, and click Go. Now, we will be given results, and there are going to be a bunch of places where that shows up. We're pretty much looking for the Extensions folder. So you'll scroll down and look for somewhere where it's been found. So here, oh, there we go in extensions. We click browse and now we'll be taken to the very bottom of that page and look here is a plugin content quick sell buttons. We go along here look for this field that says enabled. You'll have a one there in this case there's a one. I'm going to double click on that backspace and I'm going to change that to a zero and hit enter. I have now disabled that plugin. You might also go to this row here and go to edit and then go look for enabled. Here we go, there's enabled and then that's where you would change it to zero. But now that we've disabled it, we can go to the back end of the site, we refresh and look at that. We now have the access that we need to continue on and deal with what we need to deal with. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.